women cannot compete with men at chess. Yeah. The best chess players in the world are men, not women, because women cannot compute at the level the men do. That is just a statistical fact. He definitely sounds convincing. Yeah. Like that's the whole con man yeah. kind of thing. Well, because he like, says everything with, con <clears throat> with confidence. He's confidence. got so much confidence that you're like, fuck, maybe Absolutely. he is right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, it's Matt Cox, and I'm here with John Boziak, and we are going to be doing a reactionary a re reactionary reaction video to uh, Andrew Tate. Um, also, do me a favor and uh, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe uh, to the channel. It, it, it helps me out. And uh, hit, the, hit the bell so that you get notified of videos like this. Also, do me a favor if you're interested uh, in supporting me in any way. Uh, hit me up on a... Or Go to my Patreon and subscribe. Anything helps. I have three different tiers. And so now we're going to we're gonna look at uh Andrew Tate. This is the one that's about basically the sec his uh his views on uh oh, him, yeah. him being sexist. He does and, say and, some pretty wild shit. Yeah, yeah. I I yeah, I mean like th this is the only part that I, I probably disagree with some of what he says, but man, yeah. Well, says, your view on women is wildly fucking skewed, anyway. So. I, is, your view on women no, is, is I, skewed. I beg you, to differ, dude. Listen, yeah. I, I have you pegged. I, I have it all figured out. I understand why you are the way you are with women. <laughs> I completely, I got it. I, I got it down. It's because you had, you loved your mother so much, and that you so you view every woman as, as you view your mother. That you need to treat them with the same respect and, you know, same dignity that you do your own mother, which is couldn't be anything further from the fucking truth. Well, I mean, you also have a horribly negative relationship with your mother. Yes. So how come mine's skewed, but yours isn't? Yes. Well, you know, I, I maybe mine's uh, accurate and yours a lot, is skewed. Well, you know, I, th I feel like a majority of people in society tend to agree with my view um, before they would agree with your view of women. I I, I disagree. Like you but said, you should we, never call a woman a cunt. Yeah, I, I disagree I, with that. I, I, There's plenty yeah. of cunts out there walking around and twats and bitches and whores and fucking everything else. But you I would never, will not ever say anything like that. No, no, I wouldn't. And that's where the fork in the road yeah. appears. I, I, but, you know, um, yeah, definitely. Let's hear this, though, because uh, we're not we're, we're going to have to agree to disagree. Sure. Um, that's fine. But. A lot of what he says, I agree with. I like once again, I just don't agree with yeah. his, the no, way he pitches it. And he but, does say some pretty wild shit about, yeah. about yeah, yeah. When he starts talking about ownership and all this stuff, it's like stop, bro, <laughs> stop. You don't own that motherfucker's own. crazy. I mean, it's comical. It makes it makes good YouTube yeah. and TikTok, but it's it's, yeah. it's 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 over the top. All right, great sound bites. Yeah. All right. So hey, uh, if you guys didn't know, I also do I do paintings and. Uh, if you're interested in a painting, I'm going to leave my contact information in the description beneath the video. Back to the video. You said uh, it appears widely sexist stuff. Are you anti-woman? I love women. In fact, <laughs> interesting statistic, 100% of the people I've ever had sex with were women. So I, I love women. I have nothing <laughs> against women at all. I'm not sexist in any regard. I'm not misogynist either. I'm a, I'm a realist. I said if I were to get on a plane and I were to that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better under stress and under pressure. Uh, so I disagree with that. I think that's a person by person. <laughs> but I agree with men are stronger than women. I don't think anyone can argue that. Um, if you, you're telling me if you were to fly into a hurricane and you had the choice between a male pilot and a female pilot, you wouldn't have zero preference at all, Dave. Not knowing, not knowing shit. anything about either of them, they're both pro pilots. No, I wouldn't. I would not talk about dunking a basketball. Well, I would choose a man because I know <laughs> my own personal experiences. It's like with what Dave said too. I think it depends on the person. Like there could be a way more emotional. God, look at that pilot gargoyle on the right, and then a female one that could be more emotionally <sighs> stronger. But regardless, the same though, training. Yeah, I think he's saying you don't know anything about the pilot. It, you just can pick blind. Yeah, You're well, either obviously, male or female. disagree with that. But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So if she wants to do OnlyFans, she owes him some money because she's his. Yes, that's you, what you I said. Think, <laughs> that's crazy. You think well, that's crazy. That you, so you think that a man going out with a girl, that that's just your property? There, there can't be an equal relationship. No. That, one okay. that one was nuts. That one was nuts. That one was nuts. Cool. No, so but, no. I don't know because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman's. Yeah, that's inherently where you get called sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 
<laughs> I love it. It's the bride's father who gives her away. In every read culture. Read the Bible, read yeah. the Quran, read. You can go to. The, Name I'm one. sure there are some obscure tribes somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I can't say, I, I'm not a professional. But you, you get it. You seem like a very yeah, smart guy. Look, read the Bible. Every single man had multiple wives. Not a single woman had multiple husbands. It's against the will of God. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That, that would assume that yeah. if you're going in this multi universe <coughs> reading the Bible, which is there's different religions all across the globe. And there was not a single woman who was celebrated for having multiple husbands. Female promiscuity has always been disgusted and frown, disgusting and frowned upon in every single book ever written, ever, in all of history, in all cultures, ever. So, <laughs> so I remember um, I was in prison and my ex wife came to see me one time. And so you, you understand, like, if in the Jewish faith, for you to be Jewish, mm -hmm. you have to be born from a Jewish mother, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you know they can say, "Oh, you can convert," and you know, but you're you've converted to Judaism, right? You're still you were born a Jew. You were born from a from a you can't like a a, a male Jew can't knock up a you know a, a Christian and she ha has a baby and the baby's Jewish. Mm -hmm. That's not how they believe. They believe no Jewish um, people are born from Jewish women. So you know, and if you want to convert, you can convert, but. Uh, and the same, and of course, in with Muslims, Muslims believe that if a Muslim man impregnates a woman, whether she's Muslim or not, mm -hmm. that child is Muslim. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I remember. Okay, so I'm Norwegian, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, my father, well, my 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 mom was Norwegian, and uh, my you know my father's like a mixture of English and uh, like Dutch English. Actually, I'll know exactly what that makeup is here because for my birthday, Jess got me the DNA, uh, Ancestry DNA. I'm going to get mm -hmm. it in like two weeks. But my ex-wife comes to see me one time, right? And she's talking about my son. We, I was in, this was when I was in prison. She comes, she's talking to me about my son. And uh, I forget what he, he said something about being, she said, well, you know, she was talking to him and she goes, well, you know, we're Puerto Rican, we're, you know, hot blooded or whatever. And I go, well, you're you're Puerto Rican. And she goes, well, he's Puerto Rican. And I went, no, she goes, okay, so he's half Puerto Rican. I went, no, I said, he's he's Norwegian. And she goes, he's half Puerto Rican. I said, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I said, he's 100% Norwegian. He's a Viking. And she went, I go, he's Nordic. And she went, no, he's not. He's he's I'm, he's half my, my DNA. I went, that's irrelevant. I said, listen, <laughs> let me explain the way it works. I said, I'm Norwegian. Mm -hmm. I had a Norwegian child. I said, you're just a vessel. I said, you contributed about as much as the factory worker contributed to the design of the vehicle. I said, you just put the parts together. You're just a drone. Mm -hmm. I said, he's 100% Norwegian. You're just a vessel. <laughs> and she was furious. Mm -hmm. She was like, she goes, that is I, you're never telling him that mm -hmm. you're not. So I'm just telling you, he's, he's a Viking. Yeah. So you tell him that. So I said, so stop telling me he's, he's half Puerto Rican or he's Puerto Rican. He's not, he's a Viking. He's Norwegian. He's hundred yeah. percent Norwegian. So she, so when he talks like this, it reminds me because, you know, really, you know, in a way it's, it's comical because it just reminded me of that whole thing. Cause what he should get into is the fact that, you know, that the, the <laughs> Muslims, Jewish, I, I wonder, I wonder what, I wonder how it follows along the lines of like a uh, religion, but you know, being Jewish and being in the Jewish faith, you can be Jewish and you're still not, you know, has nothing, doesn't have, you can say, Oh, I'm a Christian, but I was, I'm Jewish. You know, I was born Jewish. I was I'm Israeli or whatever. So anyway, let's keep watching. I just thought that was funny because mm -hmm. she was furious, bro. Almost lost it in visitation. Women were supposed to be virgins. Women sleep with lots and lots and lots of men has never been celebrated ever. Besides, in the last forty <laughs> years in the West, well, when I meet a, when I meet a maybe woman, she, she wants to fuck a bunch of guys. There and sleep with a bunch of dudes. Maybe there are some, but the the, the class. <laughs> I think that's the hardest thing. Like, where do you <laughs> start with these people? Look at him. He's loving yeah, we this. Modern, we he have loves it. Modern wealth creation methods, and and I'll have to let people enroll in the school. It's extremely cheap. It's forty nine dollars, and you can enroll and follow the follow the system. There's a quiz. Hustlers University. University. You're time poor or you're cash poor because it's different. It's easy to make money if you have money. Yeah, fifty bucks a month. More money than they invest each month. You've never had a cancellation. Oh, of course, I've had cancellations. A thousand people. Yeah, he's just saying that some come, some go. It's yeah, maintained at fifty dollars a correct. month. Correct. It's quite a business. Can um, uh, women sign up? Absolutely. Mm. 
Of course they can. Take money from anybody. I, I don't know where, getting this impression I hate women. I I mean, we can attempt to, we can purport that. We can attempt to, to label me without all we want. I'm happy to discuss that. I absolutely not really love women. You're, you're mixing them true. up because I agree with some of what you're saying. Like, yeah, again. but then you throw in the OnlyFans, you need 100% Correct. thing. Like, that's yeah. He didn't say 100%. He said a cut. Like, in a fist fight, a man's going to win. What about intelligence? Do you think women are as smart as men? Well, it's been proven that the smartest people in the world are men. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's been proven. I love proven. this guy. Oh, where? So where? The bell curve, Show me right? those so statistics. Men are more likely to be on the extremes. So the most stupid in the people, most stupid people on the planet are men, and the most intelligent people on the planet are men. It, it, to read the study. It's more likely men what are study? on the extremes. Study. Google it. Google it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to have that prepared when they yeah. ask those questions. This is a study. Yeah, yeah. This is a university. Are men smarter than women? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Google it. Are men... Oh, wait. I can also give you yeah. personal experience if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy. <laughs> right? It's a world of ultra, ultra intelligent people. <laughs> women cannot compete with men at chess. Now... I'm not, I'm not calling all you women. See Queen women. Gambit. I'm not no. saying she was a professional. That went all the way up. Female chess players. I'm not saying all the way up through the ranks. One data woman. point. No, there are great yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand. But she, was, she, was, she was amazing. She was also whole, off. Yeah. The best chess players in the world are men, not women, because women cannot computate at the level the men do. That is just a statistical fact. It definitely sounds convincing. Yeah. Like that's the whole con man yeah. kind of thing. Well, because he like, says everything with. Con I'm confident. He's confidence. got so much confidence that you're like, fuck, maybe absolutely. he is right. <laughs> absolutely. You know how many times I've convinced people like that to do something that's absolutely fraudulent. Yeah. And just because I had such confidence with it yeah. that they were like, I, you know, I like, for instance, I'm like, oh, I'm buying your house for $50,000. What we're going to do is we're going to put a, because I'm going to do renovations on the house and I'm going yeah. to resell it. I'm going, we're going to put a construction credit on the HUD for 150000 So the sales price will be 200000 There will be $150,000 construction credit. Which I will pay the taxes on, of course, and and but you will receive fifty thousand dollars, and they'll go. God, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. I'm like, perfectly legal. Uh, it's done all the time by construction uh, companies. It's also a part of any type of construction to permanent loan that you get through mm -hmm. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. And if you feel like it's something's not right, then what I suggest you do is contact your attorney, ask him. He'll tell you it's legal. We can go ahead and close. So here's the contract. We would sign the contract. They'd say, yeah, I'm going to let my lawyer talk, uh, uh, take a look at it. I said, no problem. You come back a week later. What'd your lawyer say? Well, you know, I didn't. I asked a few friends and, you know, it sounds a little, you know, uh, you know, doesn't sound right, but I'm not really in real estate. And, you know, but mm -hmm. you see, you said it was good. So it's good it's, because I said it with such confidence and I do them all the time and it's not a big deal. But by all means that because of that, they didn't even ask us attorney. They didn't ask anybody really, probably certainly nobody that knows any better because mm -hmm. anybody in real estate will tell you it's absolutely that's illegal. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Well, you so, know, the, the people that make it the furthest in this in this society are the people with confidence. Oh, all and the you CEOs. Can, you, you could be the biggest fucking moron in the world, but as long as you got confidence, and, and even even if you have confidence in your own fucking stupidity, you're still going to go further than the guy, you know what I mean, that who, doesn't. Who doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're always going to want to be around, and you're always going to follow the guy. I mean, there's, there's leader qualities, and there's people that just don't have leadership. And they may be smarter. Yeah. Like, let's say the guy at the bottom of the heap may be brilliant, but there's tons of brilliant people that yeah. are homeless, you know? You don't have to be that smart to be a, a, a successful leader. I mean, wh <clears throat> who's the guy you wrote the story about? Well, he's got fucking delusional confidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Frank Amadeo. But yeah. he, he's also brilliant. But, yeah, he, he has people following. He has CPAs and lawyers following him. But he's completely delusional, and they believe him. Yeah. They believe in him. They believe yeah. he's gonna. It's like bro. delusional confidence. Confidence is dangerous. <laughs> it, it is. It <laughs> it's is. It's dangerous. Me, it's, yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see what else this guy's doing. This is not sexist because I'm saying the most stupid. But I think I, I think it's wrong. Like based on everything, I'm, I just think it's wrong. Like there's like uh, okay, cool. studies have pop up. Well, so then if you were, okay, the search. Up, if you were to look up the highest IQs in the world, the first 10, first 20, look them up. Are they men or women? I haven't done this. Look it up. Okay, can, can I point something out? Hmm. So, I I saw a um, uh, I I was watching a YouTube video or anything. I don't know the study. I don't know who it was. It might have been, I think it was Jordan Belfort actually. <clears throat> Not Jordan, Jordan Belfort, Peterson. Jordan Peterson. Thank you. I think it was Jordan Peterson. And but I you know don't quote me. But it was funny because he was talking about the Middle East, mm -hmm. and he was saying that they do a huge disrespect to their um, 
to their society by not allowing women to be schooled. And his, you know, his and, and Jordan Peterson has some very conservative uh, view, points of view. Mm-hmm. But what he said made so much sense to me. And it was like, look, if half of your geniuses and entrepreneurs in in the West are women, you go into the Middle East, they don't allow them to be educated or own businesses. Mm-hmm. So you've just really done a disservice to yourself by taking them out of that, you know, out of the workforce. So you're never going like the Middle East. They're well, never going they, to because their their religious ideology is is greatly outweighs anything that they see well, and I agree benefit they see from you know educating women. I agree, but that's that's like also the, why they are never going to be able to compete. That's with of the no West. consequence. Well, I mean, yeah, I I, yeah. I completely agree right. with you. But you as just, long as they hold, you know, ninety percent of the natural the world's natural oil and resources over there, then they'll... But that's slowly, <laughs> slowly depleting yeah, right, and yeah. slowly going away. That's the problem is that you know, in fifty years from now, when everybody's driving electric cars, they're going to end up going, okay, well, we still have some oil left, and yeah, but but for every for every ten of our geniuses and CEOs and, and innovators, you guys have four or five. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you because you didn't allow those or women to enter into that into those industries and you you did yourself a huge disservice mm-hmm. and so they're not they're not obviously able ever going to be able to compete as long as they have that mindset whether it's religion or not i'm just saying that was jordan peterson's um take on it and i remember listening to that thinking wow like that's a great that's a great argument like that makes sense to me because you're 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 really hurting yourself by doing that. So it's the same kind, of, you know, kind of the same thing. I don't know that he's saying this or anything, but it just this once again made me think of that. I I just hate I just highest IQ in the world. Literally, what comes up? Marilyn von Savant has one of the world's cool. highest IQs. She is known cool. as the smartest person a, in the world. Cool. Then then all right. Cool. Then I'm then I'm totally wrong. I never even said. All <laughs> I told you is that the most stupid people in the world were men. The most intelligent people in the world were men. I, re- I read a study on it four or five years ago, and I thought, you know what? I know some stupid men. I don't know women that dumb. I agree with that. And I know some really smart men. I don't know women that smart. I agree with that. I think you're very smart. Stupid guys and intelligent women yeah. are going their own way. Well, that would be a, a large generalization, Dave, because you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> well, you, don't know the women I talk- you don't know the women I talk to. Right? I don't. I Correct. absolutely don't. But see, isn't that, isn't that the issue with everything? As you could you could make the fucking great you could make the greatest argument. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it's, 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 it's just one giant fucking psyop. Because what is a statistic? You can sway statistics. You can make the numbers look fucking like women are the greatest thing on the planet, and you can make the numbers look like men are the greatest thing on the fucking planet. Well, I think I that's think, the whole that's the whole thing is like you can fucking I think the, tear anybody apart. Well, I think the problem is is that for instance, remember that remember the argument that um, violent that video games make kids violent. Yes. Right. So it was like on one side of that argument, it's it's saying, hey, um, these video games are desensitizing kids and making and, and and therefore making them violent. And and the, the other side is the video games have gotten more violent, and so have the children. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the other argument is that violent kids are playing these video games like they were violent anyway anyway and maybe the video games are are helping that or in some way or maybe they were already vi- uh angry to begin yeah, with no i'm on the side that the video games are fucking the kids up really oh yeah listen when i was when i was a kid the video games were crash bandicoot and fucking mario brothers and 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 you know a uh, donkey kong those are the video games that i grew up on mario kart there was 007 was the only fucking shooter game there was Period that and so existed. you're saying now because they're first shooter, you could yeah. drop bombs on motherfuckers. You could recreate World War Two and go in and da, 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 da. these fucking kids, their brains are so fucking you know impressionable. But you do realize that there ages. were there were mass shootings prior to the recent the last decade or two of mass shootings. Like there was mass shootings started in and with Columbine in 1998. No, that, that's, Before that, there were no child, there were no school shootings. Okay, at, no, that no school. Was, yeah. Well, I, I think there were. I don't think they were as prevalent. I also think the population was much smaller. It was maybe harder to get a hold of guns. Maybe the guns weren't quite as available or as, as oh, lethal I think, as I they think were. The, no, I think the guns have always... What about the, we've had guns in this country for 200 years that have been available to everybody. Well, AR-15s, handguns, everything. Well, okay, you're also talking about a population that's now 350 million as opposed right. to 100, 000, you know, 100, or 100 million, you know, 30 or 40 years right. ago. Plus, what about the shooting in, what was the the, the school in Texas, Texas University? Uvalde. Hmm? Oh, you're talking about, uh, this was in the, in the 60s. In the 60s, so like, that at, guy at, was, In the tower. Yes, that guy yeah. was, I forget his name, but he was fucking, 
I mean, with a sniper yeah, rifle, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, yeah. dude, dude, dude. But he like, was, but he was been. also fucking what about the fucked up from the war, and he had mental health issues, and he was, he was a well, veteran. They all have some kind of mental. Yeah, health. he was a veteran, and um, fucking. They all. What about the 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 guy in the McDonald's that was in the you know probably a few years later? Like there, these were ones that were covered by but these the are, national these media. Are, these are grown men, though. We're talking about video games, you know, twisting, warping the minds of children at when they're at their most impressionable age. Okay, you know, you're 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 simulating war and murder for eight or ten hours a day that's got to have some kind of effect on you it has to probably it has to yeah probably but i mean i'm just saying in there's an argument for both sides yes, like i there wonder always if there is. was, there if there was a study is. that showed i wonder if there was a study that showed specifically no no these video games are clearly making and i'm sure somebody in the comment section will be like hell yeah check this out like if you have that study and if you actually have that study you can find a link to it like i'd love to see that link i'd love to be I, that i find that it's kind of interesting yeah. Um. What? Uh. Do you want to do another one of his? Or just keep watching him? Or what? Sure, These not? are insane, bro. They're all. It's insane. great. It's great fun. I mean, <sighs> it is. I like I said. I've I've watched hours and hours and hours of this guy's I, content. Coming. The problem is, I watch him on. You on can't TikTok get away from him. And I so I can't. He's in I every feed. Him. He's in every feed. He's on YouTube. He's on fucking uh, Instagram. He's on every fucking platform. <laughs> We'll see how long it lasts, I and mean, I'm sure it's going to peter out and fucking go away just like everything else does, you know? If you like the video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I have other videos on the channel and whatever. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section, and I appreciate it. I'm here with John Boziak, and check out his channel. His channel is getting uh, – um, it's, it's growing and growing all the time. He has a great new video that just came out about him reacting to himself, which is – hilarious and that that's the one right right yeah yeah um <clears throat> yeah i just kind of uh react to my own my own insanity yeah um uh, so he's got it's boziak conundrum and if he remembers and sends us a link and everything if anybody remembers we can put it in the um in the uh, uh the description and uh yeah nobody's probably watching at this point because i've watched like the graph and it just drops at the very end so all right i appreciate you watching and i'll see you around see you